What's up everyone? Today I've got a short recap video for y'all about the 1.4 livestream that they just did. Hopefully I'll cover everything in less than 5 minutes. So first up, we have the next new character in Genshin Impact, Rosaria. For her ability, she dashes behind the enemy and swipes her pull arm for cryo damage. They said that one of her passive talents will increase her crit rate when she strikes from behind using this skill. For her elemental burst, she plants a spear in the ground which pulsates for cryo damage, and I think they also mentioned her other passive talent will increase the crit rate of other party members in the AoE of the spear mounted in the ground. Now since Rosaria is a 4 star, they also revealed the 5 star characters getting a banner next patch. They didn't give a specific order, but if I were to guess, Venti is first because of the Windbloom Festival, similar to how Xiao was first in 1.3 to tie us into the Lantern Rite Festival. Rosaria will then appear on the second banner, which includes a Tartaglia rerun. We will also be getting new Mondstadt-themed weapons, presumably through a weapon banner in 1.4. Next up, they talked about a new enemy called the Abyss Herald, which will play a part in yet another story quest that features Dainsleaf. Onto the main course of 1.4, we have the Windbloom Festival. Unlike the last event where we could only play Theater Mechanicus, there are now a variety of different events, which I think makes things a little less redundant and possibly more engaging. Under the festive challenges portion, there are three different minigames. The first minigame is called Bullseye Balloons, which is just a game of popping balloons for points with archers, and certain balloons have certain effects when you pop them, it seems like. The next minigame is called Floral Freefall. This event has you collecting particles and flowers in the air as you descend, and the amount of time left also contributes to the total score at the end, so make haste. Lastly, the third event is probably the funniest one, I think. If you're an Osu player like me, it's literally just Osu in Genshin Impact. There will be notes that appear on the screen and you have to time your input to the rhythm. You will also get a lyre as a playable gadget, so that's going to be really interesting. Under the Peculiar Wonderland section, this is basically just more random minigames like Fall Guys or something. You'll get three random challenges and if you do well enough, you'll get a combat buff. After these three challenges, you'll fight a final boss with these combat buffs according to the VAs. All the challenges that I mentioned before are going to give us tickets to exchange for rewards, including an R5 bow called Windbloom Ode, similar to how we got the Festering Desire through the Chalk Prince and the Dragon event in Dragon's Vine. Onto the Hangout events, aka Genshin Impact Dating Sim, these are repeatable character quests with multiple different endings. You get rewards for reaching certain endings, and of course the dialogue you choose will affect the outcome. Barbara, Noel, Chong Yoon, and Bennett are slated to have these quests in 1.4, with more coming in the future. Onto the smaller appetizer events, we have the Wishful Drops slash Raging Rodea event, which is the new Hypostatic Symphony but with Oceanid. The boss will have new abilities and we can get some boosted character XP rewards, but keep in mind that this event will cost resin according to the VAs. We will also get a baby pet Oceanid if that's worth anything. The second smaller event is called Contending Tides. It's basically just an arena of you against certain enemies. There will be a criteria for each challenge, and there will also be buffs that players can take advantage of to complete these challenges. For the third time, it seems like we have the return of the Marvelous Merchandise event. The last event they hinted at is called Outland Gastronomy. They use the images of the KFC Noel and Deluc, but I'm not sure if they will actually have a promotion at KFC outside of China. Hopefully the glider skin that they currently offer on the Chinese side with this KFC promotion will see an appearance here on global side even if it's not through a promotion at your local KFC. However, this is all just speculation and what I personally want, they said nothing specific about this one in the livestream. Lastly, we have optimizations. Some notable ones are increasing the condensed resin cap to 5, the ability to lower your world level for a short period of time, displaying name cards on profiles, and lastly a retry button for Spiral Abyss. Okay, that was a lot, but hopefully I breezed my way through that as quick as possible, no pun intended. That's it for me, so I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.